Hey guys, welcome back to Mind Pump TV. I'm your host, Serene Wilkin. This video is for those of you who have a hard time putting on muscle and might even consider yourself to be a hard gainer. So make sure you guys pay attention to the sequence of this workout as well as the cues in every exercise. Let's get started. So first exercise for this workout that is really designed for those of you that have a hard time putting on muscle, we're gonna start with a sumo deadlift. Now you can do this entire workout with just dumbbells. So I want the sumo stance here. And again, we're choosing bigger muscle groups to start with. So pay attention to the sequence of this workout. We're gonna grab the dumbbells here, find a little back extension, press up and start at the top. So from here, hinge your back as you come down Come right back up, drive up, hinge to lower, exhale up. So what we're doing is we're tackling the bigger muscle groups first. Then towards the end of the workout, we'll get into the smaller muscle groups. Just so you guys can get your compound lifting in first and you'll build more muscle mass by doing so. And inhale and exhale. Drive up. So the next biggest muscle group is gonna be our back. So we're gonna do a bent over row. And if you guys have the hard gainer guide, make sure that you look at that because it has all the details of how to sequence a workout like this so it's full body. Okay, let's grab our dumbbells. We're gonna come on up. And I want you guys to hinge your hips backwards. So you're gonna pull your shoulders behind you, come into good posture, and it's a bent over row. So we're gonna go on the exhale, shoulders pin back, inhale back down. So lats, guys, make sure you don't round your shoulders forward. Your legs stay nice and still, and you keep your back in extension. Inhale and exhale. Think about your elbow too. A lot of times people end up bending the elbow too much, the weight comes up by the shoulder. Keep your chest open. Think about bringing the weight by your hip. That always helps. Next exercise is gonna be a flat bench press. So you guys, we're gonna focus on our chest. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Come on down to the bench. I want your feet connected to the floor. So. A lot of your drive from your bench press is gonna come from your feet, guys. So try not to do it up here. It takes away a lot of that drive. Let's go ahead and get our feet organized first. And you want a little bit of space in the low back. So a little bit of arch here is completely normal and fine. I want the back of my head and my shoulders pinned down on the bench. So that's important. We don't want any forward shoulder as we drive those weights up. So from here, I'm gonna take my weights, straight wrist, roughly 90 degrees, everyone's a little bit different. Elbows slightly in is fine, and from here, drive up. <sighs> Inhale back. So notice how this workout so far is pretty straightforward. It's one exercise per muscle group, and that is a great way to structure your full body routine if you're trying to build muscle. You just need to remain consistent with that and inhale and exhale, just like that. So notice I'm not kind of wavering the weight. I'm not dropping too much or rounding my shoulders. I'm pinning my shoulder blades back. And again, keeping those points of contact, my rear, my shoulders, my head, and my feet. And exhale to inhale. All right, you guys, next exercise is just an overhead press, but standing. When you're standing, make sure that you're engaging your glutes as well as your core, because what tends to happen as we overhead press, there's a lot of sway in the back or arch of the spine like that, and the rib cage flares out. So let's go ahead and grab our dumbbells. We're gonna curl it up, start here, tall body, pull your shoulders back, squeeze your glutes, guys. Here we go, pressing from here, up overhead. So your tempo is slow on the way down. Try not to let the weights fall by your side like that and maintain those shoulders open and elbows bent at the bottom, just like that. So think again about the sequence of this. Now we're onto the shoulders. Deep breath in at the bottom, exhale to press.
All right, you guys, next muscle group, biceps. Let's go ahead and stand, standing bicep curl. Thing with the bicep curl, we've talked about before on this channel, is not swinging those elbows. So make sure you guys are pinning those by your side. We're gonna go palms up for this guy and all the way up at the top. Try not to swing it up like that to get higher towards your shoulders. Keep that pin down, inhale to lower all the way, full range of motion. Exhale to curl. So what I like to think about is widening my collarbones and squeezing my glutes while I stand up really tall. And at the top, you can squeeze your bicep, really feel that contraction right there. Inhale to lower and exhale. I like a slower lowering phase and then curl to squeeze. All right, you guys, the next muscle group is our triceps, and we're gonna be doing an overhead tricep extension. For this one, it's important, again, to notice where your elbow is. Keep it up here by your temples. Don't let it swing forward from here. You're getting a stretch on your triceps while you perform the exercise. So pick up a dumbbell. You're gonna take it around and hold it on top here above your head. Now, from right here, I wanna pull my shoulders back and then pull my rib cage in and squeeze my glutes so I'm really not flaring my ribs. From there, I take it back and exhale. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. So maintain those arms, the upper arm, vertical as you lift and as you lower. <sighs> keeping the core tight and squeezing the glutes, maintaining that upright position. Last exercise is gonna be standing calf raises. So you guys can use a um, staircase at home, find a step, find even a sidewalk, something that that level is fine, as long as you guys can drop your heels um, behind you. So let's go ahead and grab the dumbbells here. We're gonna take a step up, get tall on our body, and then from here, we're just gonna pull the dumbbells by our side, long arms, and lower and lift for the calves. And think about a slow lowering phase and lifting right back up. Nice and slow on the eccentric and right back up. So remember, all of these exercises that I've chosen for this at home hard gainer workout, they're very basic, but they are fundamental in building muscle. They lay that foundation. So in that guide, our hard gainer guide, there's a lot more information about nutrition, about lifestyle, about different things that we need to think about that affect us with building muscle. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this workout designed for the hard gainer in mind. Again, if you want to check out the free guide, go ahead and check out the link below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. We do read the comments and hope to see you guys soon.